What is up, internet world, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're the 2024 Volkswagen Atlas. I feel you. There's no more VR6. You can't get a six banger in the Cross Sport or the Atlas anymore. Yep, only a four banger, but that's okay because Toyota's doing the same. Now, I'll be honest with you, it hurts my heart to tell you that it only makes 269 horsepower and 273 pound feet of torque. But then again, people care about fuel mileage nowadays, so it is what it is. It's the times, baby. It's the times. It's all about the LEDs. So if you're unsure of what the difference between an Atlas and an Atlas Cross Sport is, they're exactly the same size. So what's really the difference? Well, one is a five passenger on that side and one is a seven passenger on this side. One is a sporty sport back on that side and one is a full size typical SUV on this side. To the front, you have an all new massive grill, but who cares about the grill? Look at this LED light bar that stretches from end all the way to end. So this is an R line, and you know that because look how it's outlined. The R is outlined. It's not a solid R. When it's a solid R, it means it's a full R. I like this grill. Look how they have this black all the way through from end to end. It's really nice. Now moving below, you do have your camera right there. You have color matched bumper there, and then you have more black trim from end to end. And then moving below, you have again, more black trim with this chrome piece that makes this bumper look really, really full. This front end I really, really like on this new Volkswagen Atlas. To the side of the Atlas, now you have 21 inch wheels because again, this is an R line. You do have your typical Atlas black plastic that goes all the way around more R-line badging, lots of smooth flushness going on. You do have your 360 camera right here. Of course, body color painted, more chrome across the top. A cool little Volkswagen right there. That's a nice touch Volkswagen, love it. On the side, it's very similar to the old one, just a bit more refined, a bit. And then moving back again, more 21s going on, more black plastic. Kind of reminds me of, well, let's take a look here, the Urus. Doesn't this look Urus-like? To the back, more of that cool lighting. It goes from end to end. Now when you open this up, the lighting disappears. It is all chrome again, like we're used to. So if you start at the top here, you have a third brake light. You've got a tinted glass, obviously. Obviously this has not changed. That is the same as the last one, but it's right here where all the difference happens. You've got the bar, as I mentioned earlier. You've got the logo. Joe. You're jumping our video, baby. Okay, moving below, you got more chrome and then the Atlas right there. And then you have the rear view camera that has a little nozzle so it shoots out water to clean it up. Moving down, you have this long, long, long reflective piece that goes from, again, end to end. And then moving down, you have, you know, fake exhaust, which we're used to with the Cross Sport and the Atlas. Let's talk about towing for a second. Again, there's no VR6, so how much can you tow? Because the last generation could only tow 2,000 pounds when equipped with the four cylinder. You have to get the VR6 to tow 5,000 pounds. But Volkswagen says with this new Atlas, you can tow 5,000 pounds with the new two liter inside the trunk of the all new Atlas. Now we will jump in and show you what the Cross Sport looks like, but the important piece is the Atlas because probably they're gonna sell a lot more of these things than those things. Hmm. This is important. How much room can we fit behind the third row? Well, I will put this up and show you what we can. Ian, close me up, baby. People always want to know what you can fit behind the third row because they're generally really, really small. I mean, I'm really, really small for a guy, I guess, in North America. I'm five foot nine. 160 ee, on the small side, baby, but I can fit back here. No problem. They do have a storage compartment on that side. They do have a storage compartment on this side. So both sides you have space to put basically like three big water bottles, maybe even four. Enough room for that and enough room for three suitcases. Now, if I want to put the seats down on this Atlas, I simply just pull this and that folds flat. Watch how flat these seats are. That is great. Tons of room back here. Really, really nice. So the main difference of the Cross Sport is this, the angular back end. And obviously look how wide this looks. Very similar to a Q8 and very similar to a Urus. Just a little bit different design. Let's see how much trunk room we have because people talk about how big this trunk room is. Do we have any room underneath this? Yep, you got a big tire. Not much room though. 
So if you are looking for an Atlas but want something super sporty, you're gonna have to buy the Cross Sport because look at this diffuser. This is, we're talking, yours? Is that you? Um, nope. Second row of the Volkswagen Atlas. Ooh, look how fancy this door panel is. Nice wood, clean Harman Kardon. But back here I have two USB-Cs. I have a 115 voltage plug I can just put in. It's a full out three prong plug. And then I have the HVAC right on top of it with two big vents. I do have storage right behind these back seats. And of course a nice big panoramic sunroof and then sunshades if I wanna keep people out. Now look at the quality of these seats as I push my fingers down on them. Look how access works in this Atlas. I simply pull that handle and watch how the seat folds forward. Really easy access, but also the baby seat doesn't have to be removed. That is a big factor when considering a family vehicle for your kitties. They're important, right? Front seat of the Volkswagen Atlas. Oh, fancy. This is where they stepped up. This is where they spent the money. This is where they needed to actually make a difference because people did not like the last interior. But here we have it. Really good quality materials. Love this wood grain on the back. It looks a hair fakey, but no. And they have this little Atlas. Oh my God, look how cool that is. It's Atlas embedded in this wood that shines through with some red LEDs. Thumbs up. So if you start the door panel here, again, really good quality like the back door. You do have no memory seat though. What is going on Volkswagen? No memory seat in something this big? Ah. And then moving on, you actually have dual vents on each side. And then you have a 12 inch center display and a 10.3 inch driver's display. And we'll go through that into a minute. But the steering wheel, man, how sporty is this? Thank God they have the Golf R, because look at cool this is. You have all the haptic buttons over here. Again, a lot of piano black, but that's very typical. It's high quality when you first look at it. This is an R line, as I mentioned, so you have a flat bottom steering wheel, aluminum pedals. And then we move below the main screen, you have more buttons, more touch buttons. You have assist, climate control, parking menu, and then of course different modes. And then moving down from there, you have wireless charger. Yes, you do Volkswagen, right there. I put my phone there, voila, it charges. I have two USB-Cs and a little more compartment. I like how they separate this compartment out because a lot of them will just put it all in one and then you throw change and stuff on top of your cell phone. But this is separated, so now one for my phone, one for stuff. And then moving down, more piano black, which is, I guess, okay, maybe okay. Two big cup holders. You've got your engine start and stop in sort of a satin stainless finish here, a parking button, and a really itty bitty itty gear shifter. Electromechanical parking brake, but underneath, look how much storage you have underneath. Hello. Lots of space down here. More cubbies here. Nice, soft touch armrest. And then a USB-C and more storage underneath here. Really good quality. I love it, Volkswagen, really good quality. Nice big heads up display. Again, we are at the Chicago Auto Show. We don't have the key, so I can't show you what that looks like, but here we'll run into the screen a little bit. So let's jump into this thing. There you have your HVAC controls right there. Again, they're all touch, very easy to use. As you can see, my fingers slide from left to right. Very, very similar to a lot of newer brands coming out today. Start obviously with Tesla with your fingers sliding left and right. But if we take a dive into the screen, you have your main menus right here, telephone, radio, navigation, vehicle, app connect, sound, help, and of course settings. And you can slide left and right. Wow, nice and clean Volkswagen. Look how nice this looks. Love it, love it. Little widgets on the side there. So if we click into, let's say, radio media, this is what it looks like, sliding up and down. Your media is obviously there, alerts. Very easy to use system, off and on right there. And then above it, you have different notifications. And this button, what does it do? What does it do? Well, the car doesn't not on, but I'm assuming that is for your climate control that shows up on the screen right there. Not a lot of touch, no real hard buttons anymore, if you noticed, it's all soft. The only hard button I can find is the start and stop, the park, and your electromechanical parking brake. And of course your window switches, that is pretty typical. I also do want to mention that you do have heated and ventilated seats on the two front ones. Well, thanks for joining us at the 2023 Chicago Auto Show to talk about the first look of this 2024 Volkswagen Atlas, as well as the 2024 Volkswagen Atlas Cross Sport. Let us know in the comments below which one you like better, the red one, or the blue one, and if you think this is worth the change because of all these LEDs, because there's a big push with lighting, as you can see. If you're new to our channel, make sure you guys subscribe. As always, my name is Mike, and the man behind the camera is Ian, and we'll catch you in the next one.